first I, I fight yeah. back. Okay. So that's my motivation. Okay, first of all, I'd like to thank Paul for having inviting me to be here. A so louder. Loud, loud, loud. Okay, so, <laughs> so I'm really happy to be here. I thank Paul for the invitation. Uh, it's really amazing for a person like me from, from Portugal and I'm not a very popular guy. We have a, a very small company. Nobody knows us in Portugal. And being able to be here with uh, all of you, for me, it's really uh, like a dream come true. I never thought in my lifetime I'd be able to be around people like you. So thank you very much. Uh, so I'll start the presentation by... <laughs> up, how to go back. Up. Ah, shit. I need to go back. Yeah, all right. So, who am I? My name is Philippe. Um, I'm married. I have two wonderful kids. And actually, they are my strongest motivation to do lean because I, li I really love spending time with them. And I joined uh, the company in. Okay. Yeah. All right. I joined the company in 2008. My father created the company back in 87, so I'm second generation in the business. I'm a complete lean maniac. Maybe I don't show it, but I'm a really lean maniac. I'm really not an expert, uh, and I'm the one leading our lean journey, okay? So who we are? We are a Portuguese company, and this year for the first time, we will reach the 2 million euros in sales. So it's a lot for us. In 2012, we reached the first million, and three years later, we are making three million. Yeah, so it's really huge. We have 27. This is, our, this is actually our team. I took these pictures last Friday. And I can say we are nice persons. But we can get pretty nasty when we are fighting ways. So, this is us. This is us in our fight mode against waste. We try to keep it simple. We try to keep it fun. Um, and so why did we start with Lynn? Why did we start? Because basically, as Paul said, we realized that we have been experiencing a very dangerously high growth rate. And as a result, we were having more and more fights, more and more discussions. Uh, so um, we are really were getting close to meltdown. So we could ruin everything if we didn't find a better way to serve our customers and to do our business. Uh, and we find a better way, and that better way is two second lean. Okay, so today, every morning, we do 30 minutes, three essing and improvements, and then we do our uh, 30 minute uh, morning meeting. So what do you do for our customers? Basically, we manufacture, we produce countertops and vanity tops in granite, ceramics, engineered stone, and we also provide to some clients templating and installation services. So that is what we do for our customers. So these presentations will be a series of short stories of our lean journey so far, uh, how we started, how we are doing it right now, and something further ahead down the road. Okay? So how did we start? So we started lean in the bathroom. Uh, we started slightly different than most of you um, because um, we had we put together two bathrooms, one that was the normal bathroom, and just on the right side, we put the lean bathroom. And you say, listen, people, to use a lean bathroom, you have to be respectful, you have to do continuous improvement, and you have to leave it better than you found it, okay? There's a list on the, on the door. If you want to use this bathroom, you just put a name on it, okay? But if you don't want, there's no problem. It's perfectly fine. You have a normal bathroom, not a dirty, shitty bathroom, a normal bathroom. <laughs> And you basically can freely make an option, which one you want. Giving the people the choice is a, for, a sign of respect for people. You must respect them, giving them the, the choice. So the other thing I said, um, we all talk about, we, have, we are all as a team. Advise that in the office, we have this really nice bathroom. And you on the shop floor, you have this, sh I, don't want to, I, don't, I don't want to call it shithole, but almost. So that makes no sense to me why we call, us a we call ourselves a team and we have so different uh, experiences when we go to the bathroom. So <laughs> that stops today. From now on, the boss, every engineer will use the same bathroom. It will be the shop for 
bathroom for everyone. And finally, I told them, okay, I knew that there was the cleaning of the bathroom to implement, so I told them, you don't need to worry about the cleaning of the bathroom, the lean bathroom, I will clean it every day for you, okay? The normal bathroom I won't clean because if there's no respect, I'm, I'm not able to do it, but the other bathroom I will clean it. So, long story short, after eight months, every, after eight weeks, everybody had put freely the name on the list, not a single day I had to be the policeman hunting people down for leaving it dirty because they were doing it, using it freely. And finally, uh, on a morning meeting after uh, eight weeks, they came up together with an idea of improvement. And basically they told me, Philip, I think we should all clean the bathroom. Okay? And from that day on, we really had uh, a really genuine and strong buy-in buy -in because we, I think we started well with our project, with our culture. Other thing important for me is keeping uh, from pointing fingers in the morning meeting, okay? We don't want it to be the Holy Inquisition. We want to be able to discuss problems and not to search for scapegoats. If you start pointing fingers, you'll try destroying your culture. So my advice is don't do it. So you said no Inquisition, is that what you said? No, not the Holy Inquisition. I love it. No, we don't want that. And here on, on the right side, you have the actual picture of our toilet. It was improved several times. We kept having the problem, uh, people uh, using the bathroom so from sometimes, they would leave it dirty from beneath. They wouldn't clean it. We make, we say people pay attention, clean it. It was always a struggle. So we realized that since lean is the art of subtraction, we are subtracting the cover of the toilet. And since then, it's a very simple process. Even in case of explosion, it's always clean. <laughs> Okay, some routines that are working well. So we make the eight ways review slightly different from some of you. We show the improvement videos every day and we apply the, the review of the eight types of ways to the videos we just saw. So every time it's very practical approach. We talk about real things, real ways that we are either eliminating or reducing. Number two, recent process changes. So we were having all these kinds of talks and agreements on our morning meeting and then finally I realized that in reality things are not being done as discussed and as agreed and I think to myself are they just being malicious uh, and I, I realized that actually we had a very bad process that we should should improve and so what we did we put uh, for every different part of the process we make put the latest changes and we review them uh, on a, a daily basis. Today we talk about packaging and every time we talk we put here uh, the, 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 the dark dot. So this allows people to hear things more than once, to have more clarity around things and around decisions and give everyone the possibility to really understand. Because you talk one time, you, want, you ask, everybody is, uh, uh, understands you, may, you can be sure that more than 50% didn't understand and they are too afraid to raise their hand. So you have to respect that, you have to understand that. So when you do this on a daily basis, you review everything, people really understand and they start doing it because they understand. Another, th another recent breakthrough for us is having the job interviews in the bathroom. So we started... Uh, <laughs> no explosions. <laughs> no explosions. <laughs> so for us, we have one of the most important values for us. It's really uh, getting humble people on the team. Okay, and one of the ways we found it was asking job uh, candidates to clean the bathrooms on the interview day. Okay, and we thought and we and we found out that surprisingly, many apparently perfect candidates were unable and you can see by the looks in their faces like the, the the scandal and the panic to do something like this and we were all very relieved to find out on the interview day and not uh, one month or one year ahead from from the from the hiring process so it's really an, it works very well yeah. Yeah. okay some mistakes I made I hired a consultant and I hired the wrong consultant because 
I met here some very good consultants, but unfortunately that was not the one we hired. Um, it's a long story related to ISO 9000. Uh, it was then just before we start with two second lean, so last year, uh, last quarter of last year, it was a very expensive mistake I made, I have to tell you. But um, it allowed me to have my first epiphany moment uh, when I realized that lean was indeed the art of subtraction. I don't have the time to tell you the full story. I can just tell you that I was coming back from Belgium. I was on the plane and then I finally realized the improvement we needed to do. That was basically burn a form or like uh, all the PowerPoint presentations, put them aside. I was like this, seated on the airplane and people were looking at me. This guy must be crazy. <laughs> And I'm a little bit crazy. <laughs> so, other mistake I, ma I made, we started um, in, the, in the beginning with too little time for the, um, the, the improvements. Okay, so people were seeing they were investing 15 minutes a day, but they were not ha having the time to clean and do the improvements for the 3Sing and for the improvements. And people were starting to wonder, will this ever pay off? And they started to misbelieve the potential of our culture and the potential of lean. So uh, my, my conclusion is you should start slowly with two second lean, uh, specifically what concerns the meetings, not have half an hour meetings. But I, I think that you should start immediately giving them at least 25, 30 minutes to do the improvements so that they can see the advantage. Uh, so that they can see that it really helps them do their job and, ha and make them uh, more happy doing their job. Another thing that uh, uh, it was a mistake I made and I found the, the, the correction quite recently, I kept on telling them it's 99% fault of the process. And it's true. And after a while people were starting to use it, some people use it as an excuse for poor performance. Oh, it's the fault of the process. And then I realized I had to be, uh, bring more clarity in the, into the subject and then I asked them, so this, is, this process, is it hard? Is it difficult for you? Yes. Does it really, really bug you? And they said yes. And then I say, okay, you have to find an improvement. You have to improve it. I'm here to help. But while the improvement is not done, our quality standard will stay there. It, not, it will not come down. You have to make the necessary effort to meet our standard. If it bugs you, improve faster. But you, it, it, the fault of the process cannot be an excuse to cross your arms like this and say, ah, it's a problem that uh, I cannot solve. So it's important to make clear to everybody, it might be the fault of the process, but it's our responsibility to make the improvement. Okay, uh, these are two stories. I have two minutes, Paul. Two minutes. Okay, I have to speed up. This young boy, young man, we hired him last year. He was basically put aside in our local community. He had drug problems. Today, he's a very motivated young man. Uh, he, has, he gets uh, uh, recognition for his job. And more than a job, Two Second Lean gave him a life project. So we are making an impact in our local community. This is one of our toughest guys. The one always complaining, not willing to help the others. Today, he came to me uh, a few weeks ago to tell me, Philip, it's been more than 20 years that we work with you. And I rediscovered after 20 years the joy of getting up in the morning to come to work. The tough guy. Okay. It's a big deal. Okay. Punching you in the face. I already talked about that. I talked about it. Yeah. <laughs> Paul talked about that. Two states in life, moving forward or moving backward. There is no idle point. So you are paddling up, up, upstream. If you stop paddling, you start coming, coming back, going backward. Using things and important things. This is our stockyard before. This is during our improvement. We have uh, overloaded stock for years and we never had time to do nothing about it. Okay? No 3 s No 3 s There's always an order, always a call to make. Nobody has time to. Uh, worry about this but this indeed is the birthplace of uh, more than 50 percent of the fires we put out every day on the shop floor defects transportation they are all there okay so it took a really big courage to address this issue because it's 
every granite shop floor except maybe for Maxwell countertops is like this okay so it's a big deal for us okay challenges ahead one thing I recommend to everyone is to maintain and develop personal personal development routines like a pose-up app uh, might help doing that I started doing a little bit of sport every day just a little bit every day and I started reading a little bit every day and believe me it makes a, a huge difference yeah, yeah. you cannot if you don't do it you don't you you can you can think you understand but you don't understand so if you want to try it try it it really works very well another thing with two second lean we started paddling we started moving our goal is bringing clarity and alignment to our culture so we can start pedaling with a clear direction and we can start pedaling synchronized if you ever pedal you know the difference of pedaling synchronized or pedaling just as you think it's better finally we need to improve faster than our growth rate we grew we are growing 15 percent a year since 2010 last year we grew 44 percent and end of this month end of july we are still growing 39 percent so it's really very uh, dangerously fast and uh, the solution for us and our hope is to second lean keep on improving faster than the demand wow okay so